Hey guys, so it's a very warm sunny day today. Um, I said in my video yesterday that I'm feeling confident that I can I just want to go into the shade now so you can actually see me but I'm feeling confident that I'll be able to run today and uh, yeah I just have I um, wasn't quite feeling as good as I thought I would um, I was still coughing a bit my throat is still a little bit itchy but got through I managed to run for half an hour I had to take a few breaks but uh, it's good um, I'm running in Cam T Park it's a very hilly park um, so it's, um, I think I did like two laps of the park and then it just ran like randomly for the rest of the time so I think I was doing like seven minute miles um, judging by those two laps I did so and you know it's hilly park so it's probably the equivalent of like 6.45 pace uh, yeah so it's good because you know I've lost fitness so it's a good effort for me um, yeah so not quite 100% but uh, um, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday like um, with this whole it's just my throat like um, like the night before last I was coughing a lot before going to bed I'm coughing a lot waking up uh, but last night I wasn't coughing at all so I was confident I'd be able to run today um, uh, I have ran today um, but you know I'm just disappointed I haven't ran for 15 days just over two weeks I've probably lost a good bit of fitness it's gonna take me a while to get that back and that's the thing like avoiding illness and injury in running is you know a big part of it because you know you'd be be amazed how much you can lose like they say after like two weeks you lose like a minute off your 5k time so yeah like if you're a 15 minute 5k runner you lose two weeks you're like a you're a 16 minute 5k runner come back you know even though you get it back fairly quickly um so yeah do what you can to stay healthy um <clears throat> uh, i'm gonna see a nutritionist my mother's a bit concerned about my veganism personally i'm not too concerned um like I was, I went like a year without getting sick, all right, um, at all. Oh, geez, I haven't caught a cold for like years now. But um, the thing was, um, I think I was sick around like, was it December 2017? Had this thing called the Aussie flu, which is, I think everyone got sick then because it was like a foreign virus. It was like, it, it come to Ireland for the first time. So pretty much everyone was sick. A lot of people died from that. So, you know, uh, I think I was bound to catch that, no matter how healthy you are. Um, then I got sick in like November, so I think I had like fever or something, maybe it was the flu. I think, to be honest, I think it's because my body fat percentage is dropping too low. Um, like I got it checked there once, like around like in college, around like April or May maybe, or March, April, sometime around there. I think I had like 5% body fat, which is, you know, very low. Like my um, teacher was actually a bit concerned when he saw that, um, but I was feeling so lean, I actually thought I'd be the number would be lower. I thought it'd be like 3% body fat, but that's not healthy. Um, I feel like at that stage, I was, um, I had enough fat to stay healthy, but I was at a stage where I couldn't really afford to lose much body fat. Do you know what I mean? And um, that's the thing. I uh, I think maybe I've just dropped a little bit too low lately. Um, so I'm trying to gain body fat again. I'm, I'm trying to eat loads of like those cereals with you know the, the oils, the, the coconuts and stuff, the nuts. Uh, I'm eating quite a lot of nuts as well um, and seeds yeah I'm eating more like seeds as well because you know one thing I think I, I was looking at doing some research I think I might have been uh, deficient in zinc so I'm trying to eat more like uh, seeds like the pumpkin seeds they're very high in um, zinc so yeah and yeah I'm going to see the nutritionist but um, personally I just think it's my body fat percentage is too low so I'm just going to try to eat thing is I'm not really that big fan of eating anymore like it's kind of weird it's like I've lost the joy to eat which is a bit of a problem when you're so skinny I mean yeah if you're overweight then yeah it's great but um, personally I think there's too much of an like obsession with like being too lean having too little body fat and it's just not healthy oh Jesus it's good like shading it God damn sun is coming out for a change <laughs> um, but anyway the thing is um like people judge each other like oh this guy's got this percentage that percentage the lower you have the less fat you have the better not necessarily true um, like i remember like i think my dad was a bit of a negative influence on me um like i think summer 2015 i had a really bad track season um and uh, my times were a lot slower than the previous year and my dad was saying it was because of my nutrition i'm eating way too much but that, that's not the case i think it was down to the training 
because like back then I used to believe that in the easy runs the pace was matter it's just about getting the miles in and I was wrong uh, I think I was running like way too slow around that time I just lost fitness like I uh like summer 2014 I ran like a two what was it 415 for the 1500 and um, yeah, that was like my, that's still my PB by the way, which is amazing. I don't know how, because I think I was like more speed based back then. Um, then 2015, um, I first <clears throat> I ran a 1500 in. Oh, these cough come back. <coughs> oh, jeez. I ran like 431, which is really bad. Like I, I think I went through like the first 800 in 218 or something, which is good. Um. It's probably like in around like a PB, um, but then second half race I just slowed down completely and I it was embarrassingly slow in the second half like towards the end. And um, I decided to get like a a new uh, watch and heart rate monitor, and um, you know I decided to go by heart rate in my easy runs. And um, I read somewhere that your heart rate should be around 140 to 150 beats per minute in an easy run. It's actually quite high, and I started trying to stick to that and. You know, I was working a lot harder in the easy runs than I was before. And it, within a month, I ran a 425-1500. So, like, I knocked six seconds off my 1500 time in the space of a month. Do you know what I mean? Um, just from, you know, running that little bit faster. So, yeah, I definitely think it was the training. It was not the it was not the nutrition. And um, so my dad was, um, you know, my dad just kept giving out saying, Oh, you're running slow because you're not, you're eating too much food and stuff like that. And... You know, he kept trying to like cut my uh, portion sizes and everything, and I was losing weight and I was getting really skinny and I was like, "Jesus, this is actually like dangerous now." Like, I, I got to get away because you know my parents were kind of separated at the time, as they still are. So I moved in with my mother and you know, I got to just eat sort of normally again because you know it just wasn't. Eat I don't think I was eating enough. Like, you know, I think maybe losing a bit of weight was probably okay, but I got to a stage where I needed to just get away. Um, and also my dad, he's into like Atkins diet and paleo diet. He's like eat loads of meat and stuff and you know cook carbs don't eat pasta and bread it's very fattening but like I was sort of like moving more towards like a high carb low fat diet I, was, I wasn't vegan by the way at this stage I was still eating like you know still eating you know meat every day or fish every day um, so yeah uh, just you know so that's just it you know trying to improve my health maybe shave the beard now stop being so lazy find some motivation maybe even get a job because like I got um, I decided to leave the job in Tesco um, I didn't have much motivation there, my managers. I got I had a meeting with my managers, they said I'd be better off just leave, so currently unemployed, so what will I do next? I don't know.